So let's take into let's uh, look into sample examples. So for example, these are the delay numbers x1, x2, x3, x4, and all. So these are the delay numbers. So for example, uh, if we have a uh, something, if we had if, if for for example at the input of this particular buffer, if you have a transition of 60 picoseconds and and the output load, let's say let, we'll take the same one. The output load is 60 femtofarads, no, or let's say 70 femtofarads. Let's take a general example. So the input transition of this particular buffer is is 60 picosecond and output is 70 femtofarads. So this is how we'll be looking into the table. It will be something like this. So we will take the input transition which is 60 picoseconds. So 60 picoseconds will be this complete range. And out of that we have to look into the one have oh, we, we have to look into that column which will have the uh, which will have the load of 70 femtofarads. So 70 femtofarads lies somewhere over here. So the point at which these two intersects is this one. It's x16. So the delay of that this buffer will be x16.